This is Doug Brunk for Global Medical News Network, reporting from St. Louis at a symposium sponsored by the Society of Surgical Oncology. Dr. John Frangioni of Harvard Medical School updated attendees on the latest advances in image-guided surgery using invisible near-infrared fluorescent light. He primarily discussed a system he developed called FLARE. Well, FLARE stands for the Fluorescence Assisted Resection and Exploration for Surgery. It's essentially a, a fancy camera that lets surgeons see tumors and see blood vessels and nerves in real time during surgery. It uses invisible near-infrared fluorescent light, light that's always uh, around us in a bright sunny day or in the operating room, but we harness it using this special device so that we can make, let tumor cells uh, glow brightly uh, on the computer screen even though when the surgeon looks down they see what they're used to seeing. And I understand this technology is being used in six centers around the country, is that correct? It's actually six centers around the world. Uh, we have uh, units uh, in uh, two hospitals in Boston, uh, in uh, the Netherlands, Zurich, Switzerland, uh, Sapporo, Japan, uh, actually three hospitals in Boston. Um, so we're uh, actively exploring uh, this technology uh, in, uh, during uh, various cancer surgeries. What are some of the perceived clinical implications uh, of, the, of this technology if it becomes widely used and widely accepted? It's a great question. Um, the principles of oncologic surgery are to resect the tumor completely, of course, but also to leave behind critical structures such as blood vessels and nerves and glands which shouldn't be resected. What FLARE system does is permits the surgeon to see both in real time simultaneously with the color video showing surgical anatomy. So the assumption is, and this needs to be proven in clinical trials, is that surgeons will be able to perform better cancer surgery by being able to see the tumor while they're resecting it and actively avoiding critical structures that would leave the patient with long-term morbidity. So it's no more pie in the sky. This technology is ready to be used. Well, we're very excited about it. There are, all se there are several commercial systems available. Uh, Flare is not available commercially yet, but is actively being licensed. There will be, uh, over the next five to ten years, uh, improvements in contrast agents so that we can light things up better during surgery. And I think when you put the two together, uh, we're looking in the 10 to 20 year horizon uh, into a, what's hopefully going to be a revolution in cancer surgery. For Global Medical News Network, this is Doug Brunk.